Good day, it's a Genome here. Today's tip about hate of writing in Substance Painter. For example, we want to add this type of flat stomach about this skin pattern. Let's try to do it. Let's go to body folder, disable our previously created stomach, create new layer, name it properly stomach, disable every single channel except color, maybe rough and hate, change color to something more desaturated yellowish like this change height to minus 0 0.5 add a black mask add a paint enable lazy mouse and mirror effect and let's try to recreate something more similar that we have before it shouldn't be so accurate because this is only for example something like this one so as you could see, the overall shape, or if to be more precise, the height normals of stomach is actually pushed inward. But the pattern of the skin stays on its place. What if you want to write this pattern with flat area, exactly like in previous case? So without pattern and with pattern. Let's try to do it. On the right of every layer slash folder, blending mode is located. This is actually the type of how layers will be mixed together, in case you don't know it. By default for layers tab, blending mode is set it to base color channel. Everything what we need to do is switch it to height. As you could see after switching to height, the blend mode for it was changed to linear dodge. It's actually the default one for every height channel. And if we will switch it to normal, everything became flat exactly as we need. Let's try to add some interesting pattern in, instead boring flat area. So let's add some maybe filter for more bluish edges. Like uh, with blur, without blur, with blur. And let's for pattern add a fill effect, pick some random pattern, for example, this one, switch to planar projection, decrease scale, increase to five. And for correct population, let's create the same folder, add a black mask. Control C, paste over here and put it over here. And here you go. You could play with this as many as you want, depends on what your task and needs. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you will use it on daily basis while texturing. So see you later. Bye.